Hello. In this video, we're going to explore how customers will benefit from the next generation of standardization capabilities delivered in Wonderware System Platform 2017. Wonderware System Platform 2017 introduces Object Wizards, a new way to visually model complex equipment types within a single object template. Let's take a look at the Valve Object Wizard, included as part of the large array of out-of-the-box content in System Platform 2017. We can see in the Object Wizard Design Editor, the standards engineer has created the specific choices and options which capture the wide variations among the different valves used in the company's plants around the world. The standards engineer links these choices and options to the shape and configuration of the object, including attributes, alarm limits, historization, and I.O. links. In addition, the standards engineer can now specify which aspects of the valve configuration that the maintenance engineer can adjust, which ones are read-only, and the aspects that should stay hidden to reduce complexity. Another new feature is the ability to link an orchestra graphic to an object. Graphic linking saves our users a lot of time by eliminating several steps in their daily development workflow, especially when coupled with object wizards, because if the linked graphic is a symbol wizard, it also gets linked into the object wizard's choices and options automatically. Let's take this object wizard for a spin. As the plant maintenance engineer, I need to install a new valve, and as part of that job, I need to add it to the plant model and to the HMI screens. I'll start by opening the HMI application in the NextGen View App Editor, then I'll browse down through the plant model to the reactor where my new valve is going in. I'll select that I want to edit the graphic for the reactor detail. Within the orchestra graphic editor, I browse for my template and I drop it onto my graphic. That launches my object wizard interface. I select the options that are appropriate for the valve that I'm installing. I then select the visualization that I'd like confirm my other choices, and click Finish. There it is on my screen. I'll adjust the size, hook up the piping, and then give it a name. In the meantime, it's important to recognize that not only did I create a graphic on the screen, but I placed the object itself into the model. That's in the View App Editor. Let's close that out. We'll go back to the IDE and check just to make sure it's in the model. Sure enough, there's my object instance. And that is the power of the next generation of Wonderware System Platform. Thank you for watching.